The H. Council Trenholm Memorial Award is presented to a nominee who works beyond the call of duty to free the education profession from in, 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 <laughs> easy for me to say, from inequities based on race or ethnicity and helps improve understanding among racial and ethnic groups. This year's recipient is from the state of Kentucky. Hi, I'm Stephanie Winkler, president of the Kentucky Education Association. The inner cities of our country can be tough places to grow up, and we're so blessed to have in Louisville a man who has dedicated his life to providing a safe haven to our youth, a place to explore both the arts and the inner rhythm of their hearts. He's my hero, Edward White. Are y'all ready? If you give kids a place to be, something to love, and something to strive for, you can get them going and keep them going on the right path. My name is Isaiah, and I'm in sixth grade. I'm a drum club because I feel like I'm connected to the drum. I love the drum. My name is Kate Brown, I'm in sixth grade. My name is Michael, I'm in eighth grade. My name is Elisa, I'm in sixth grade. I'm in drum four because I like to play music a lot, and drum is just one of the things this has been the philosophy of Edward White for more than 20 years. His River City Drum Corps introduces African drumming to the inner city youth of Louisville, Kentucky, and has redirected the paths of hundreds of children who too often fall into a life of gang violence, drugs, and incarceration. We only gonna play two or three tunes, because all I'm trying to do is, is give y'all an opportunity. By teaching his students important life skills, such as responsibility, leadership, and cooperation, along with the drums, Mr. White is creating future citizens as well as music. I got involved with River City Drum Corps, and it was a, it was a big, it made a big impact on my life. You know, it didn't, if, if it wasn't for Drum Corps, I wouldn't be where I am today. All right, here we go. Starting with children as young as elementary school age, Mr. White teaches leadership skills, encouraging students to lead drills and express their individuality and creativity while always being respectful and disciplined. And even though drumming is his heart and soul, Mr. White always emphasizes that there is something even more important. That's what it's about. It's about the ability to be able to read, write, and, and, and be able to go to school and get your stuff done. School after school, student after student, Edward White is bringing his passion for drums to the children of Louisville, linking them to their cultural roots and opening doors of promise and possibility. That's a tune that the River City Drum Corps calls Heartbeat. Put your hand over your heart. Get the beat for me, Cody. Can you hear that sound? That's the heart of Edward White, beating for the children of Louisville. Ladies and gentlemen, Edward White. Good evening. It is a pleasure to be here tonight because you are the soul of America and the world. Because guess what? Everybody has three things in common. A mother, a father, and a teacher. And a teacher is because of you that we're able to do the things that we do and able to have things for our children. And one thing, since I've been here tonight, charter schools are not the way. Amen. Charter schools are not the way because it is a reverse psychology. 
Robin Hood took from the rich and gave to the poor. Charter schools take from the poor and give to the rich. So from now, our state has fought continuously to keep charter schools out. I'm going to join that fight with my drums. We live in a country where we have the opportunity to be whatever we want to be, a lawyer, doctor, entrepreneur, professional athlete, and the list goes on. I chose to be me and serve my community by giving children a chance to find themselves through the use of arts and culture because culture was here before we got here and it's gonna be here after we leave. So we need to stay rich in the culture because that is the tool for educating our children. Thank you, NEA.